Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the virus concept. Virus. So first we'll discuss about what is virus and uh, how to recognize virus or infected files and impact what is the impact and then types of viruses and finally how to protect our computer from virus so in today's session we are going to discuss about all these things first we know we have to know about what is a virus and how to recognize whether our computer is affected with a virus or not and then what is the impact if our system is uh, uh, infected with a virus then what happens and then what are the different types of viruses there are a lot of viruses right so how to protect our computer from virus right so let's start from first one that is what is a virus so virus is also a software virus is also a software that means a piece of code which has an ability to self replicate it right so it is also a piece of code but it will be having self replicated ability that means it can produce or it can spread from one file to another file so it will produce a, another virus file and it will be affected on our computer systems see example if one system so let it be this is a system a and this is system b so a and b so here we are having some two programs and here also we are having some two programs okay so two programs and here let it be a virus is infected for this file okay this is file 1 this is file 2 and let it be this is a file 3 and a file 4 let it be in system a if the virus is affected on file 2 right so that means some piece of code will be embedded into our program so apart from our program there will be some other code that is called this virus okay and if you transfer this f2 to system b so transfer file one file two from a to b now automatically another file will be moved here this is f2 which is having the virus infected automatically this file will be replicated that means again it will create the same set of code and that will be implemented to the all the remaining files in the system so it will become a part of f4 as well as it will become a part of f3 right so without uh, the human intervention this piece of code can replicate its replicas to another files in the system so that's called a virus okay so that's why we call it as a self replicated self replicated right now how to recognize whether our system is uh, infected with the virus or not simple so abnormal performance this is the first thing this is the first thing so there will be somewhat deviation uh, between the uh, normal performance so response time response time will be uh, more okay and again pop-ups so different pop-ups will be up, uh, i mean appeared a number of pop-ups will be appeared and also we can see some unwanted links 
unwanted links right and also the not working of drivers drivers not working of drivers so in some cases the hard disk may also fail so in uh, unable to boot from the operating system unable to boot the operating system right so all these cases uh, we can recognize our system is infected with the virus okay and now what is the impact so if the virus is affected to our programs in our system what is the impact so impact what is the impact means what will be happen so first one is data loss the data can be loose okay so whatever the data we have stored in our system can be lost and programs can be corrupted so all the programs which are available can be corrupted so the files will not be open okay and similarly so also uh, lose the control so the operating system may also affect this one right so this virus can also affect the operating system file so that we can't able to boot the system we can we can we are not able to log into our system itself so all these are the impacts that means how what happens if the virus is infected to our files right now what are the different types of viruses so there are different types of viruses so how this uh, can be the computer can be infected right so first one is resident virus resident virus so this resident virus means the virus will be placed in our operating system files okay so OS files or programs will be infected will be infected if it is a resident virus the next one is file infected virus file infected virus so dot com files or dot exe files will be affected so whatever the exe file executable files and a com files all those files will be affected with this file infected virus yeah macro virus macro virus means so some doc files or uh, docs uh, xls right so that means office applications so this uh, some part of code will be a part of the documents right so whenever you share the documents from one or one system to another system automatically the file will be i mean the virus will be affected right so this is this is the thing micro virus means that will be affecting the documents boot sector virus boot sector virus means here name itself indicates a boot sector that means a boot stack loader so the virus will be on a memory right so that will corrupt the operating system that will corrupt the operating system right so because the boot stack loader will load the operating system to the main memory right so if this boot stack virus is affected automatically it will be corrupted from the operating system so this will be residing on hard disk or uh, some external drives external drives right so this may occur when you plug on your usb and you try to restart the system automatically the os will be installed from the bootstrap loader and if your external hard disk that means external drive that means either pen drive or any uh, uh, i mean this hard disk so that will be affected on the bootstrap i mean boot sector uh, files so automatically that will be impact on the operating system that gives the impact on the operating system and the next one
web, web scripting virus so it will, it will override the code it will override the code and it will create a links it will create a links which will download malicious software from that particular link so it will overwrite the existing code so it will overwrite the existing code and it will create some links which will directly in install or download this malicious software so from this software our files will be get infected right multipartite virus multipartite virus means it will be available or infected multiple parts of our program multiple parts either os or files or etc whatever the thing it will be affected on multiple parts of our files next one is web browser hijacker web browser hijacker so here it will automatically redirect to the malicious websites so it will redirect so without any human uh, in interference the link or this web browser will automatically redirect to the malicious websites okay so best example the default home page so suddenly the default home page will be changed that means automatically it was redirecting to some malicious websites right? redirect to malicious website right yeah so these are the different types of virus okay the possible virus so in all these cases a virus will be self replicated that means it will directly create the same piece of code to another file right so like that uh, finally in some cases the hard disk may also crash so the main thing is our data will be lost and sometimes the hard disk may also be crashes that means it will also give the impact on hardware also okay yeah now how to protect this virus that means how to protect our computer among this virus from this virus how to protect so first one use the antivirus program antivirus software and keep on update it keep on update keep on update right and the second one check once you click that means so we uh, in our mail we will receive a lot of emails right with the uh, different links so before clicking on that link just check once it is a valid or invalid so don't go with the unwanted links and the third one scan before download so whatever the files if you are downloading the files from the email or if you are copying the files from one pen drive i mean from one system to another system first you scan those files and then you just follow the procedure so without scanning the files if you copy the files or download the files from the uh, email or uh, internet automatically the files may be infected and through that files our files will also be get infected right so these are the things we need to follow to protect our computer from the virus so here one question is this one keep on update so how this antivirus works so antivirus will be having one database antivirus will be having one database with all the viruses virus 
information so number of viruses will be there so all the details of those viruses will be available in this database and if you scan this system if you scan the computer so it will check with all these virus information okay and this is the antivirus antivirus okay so scanning the computer means it will compare each file with this file virus information if any uh, file found this virus information that means if there is any match automatically that will give you a pop-up that is uh, this file is having some sort of infected right so keeps on update means every day there will be a, a lot of viruses will be produced so if you keep on updating the virus i mean antivirus automatically this database will be updated the database will be updated so that the new files which are created those files information will also be available in this virus information right so that's why we need to use an antivirus software and we have to keep on update the antivirus uh, software and also the fourth thing just use a pop-up blocker in your browser so that it will not it will not allow any pop-ups right pop-up uh, pop blocker on web browser so just enable this one so that it will it will avoid the pop-ups right so these are the few things how we can uh, protect our computer from the virus yeah so this is all about our virus concept so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this virus concept feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much